Hi guys, how are you? We have a little bit of a different view today. We are on the opposite spectrum of the Great Jelly Library. I am in the first half of the library. Um, partly because I wanted to film near the window because um, my ring light blew out last video hearty har har so i'm making do now i wanted to do a book review about this book enough already by valerie bertinelli i have finished it and although it's not your mainstream book this book is so worthy I don't generally give any books five stars because I feel like um, they really have to knock my socks off in order to do that. And let me tell you, this book knocked my socks off. This book floored me. It floored me in the sense of wisdom. Okay, so when we talk about wisdom, wisdom isn't from a 16-year-old. Sorry, guys, it's just not. Wisdom is does not come from a 25-year-old. It doesn't. It doesn't come from a 37-year-old. Wisdom comes from a person of age. You literally have to earn that it is not a gift that is bestowed upon us at any given age. It is, in fact, a gift that has to be earned. And boy, oh boy, do I feel like she has earned hers. I can relate to so many things in this book. It's just one profound thing after another. This book isn't a very raucous book. It is a quiet, demure book with a whole lot of hidden gems of knowledge and wisdom just filling the pages. At no point during this book was I ever bored and it is the type of book where you know stuff and you know you know that stuff. However, you may have forgotten that you knew that lesson or that pertinent piece of information that might apply to your life. However, it takes the foresight of a stranger, someone else, to reacquaint you with what you already know. And that is exactly what this book has done for me. It is not a book about a weight loss journey. It is a book about finding yourself and being comfortable with the person that is within, not the person that the world sees. The person that you know you are, the person that is your inner soul, your, your mind, what makes you happy, thriving on that happiness, ignoring the perspective of other people and how you are viewed by others, but, but just simply going off of what is yours. You know who you are and what you are. Own that. Do not let anyone convolute who you are. Stay true to yourself. Find what makes you happy. You don't just wake up and say, I'm happy. You have to look for your happiness. And happiness comes in the form of birds chirping, a flower growing, a cat napping on a windowsill, a good book, a great cup of coffee, 
a stroll in the park, um, a visit to a cafe, whatever it is that brings a spark of happiness into your world and then build upon that, feed off of that and embellish that. Keep it growing, keep it going. Keep your happiness alive. So with that said, I would like to read you a page that was profound, really stood out in my mind. So it is page 133 of Enough Already by Valerie Bertinelli. Years of dieting and cleansing and the like has left me hungry. And what I'm hungry for can't be found in the refrigerator or pantry. What I want is for my soul to be fed with compassion, forgiveness, gratitude, kindness, and love. That part, for my soul to be fed. And what does it need to be fed with? Compassion, forgiveness, gratitude, kindness, love. This is what I am talking about when I say that the joy I want to feel is not so much an end goal as it is a value and an intention that I have to realign with over and over again. Joy is not going to come to me. I have to intentionally pursue it every day. I know I am repeating myself. But that's what it takes. Constant reminding, joy, happiness, and gratitude have to be pursued. They don't automatically find us. We have to find them. I feel the same way about feeding my soul. I have to be intentional about it every day. The way I try to sit in the sun with a book for a few minutes or stare out at the vista from my kitchen window and marvel at the beauty of the mountains in the distance or literally stop to smell the roses. This is food for the soul. It's necessary for my well-being. It's something all of us need to crave. Where is the diet? Where is an easy to follow recipe for feeding our souls so our stomachs don't constantly tell us that we're hungry? How do we eat to feel good rather than eat so we don't feel? I have come up with a seven day program to nourish the soul. It's my 21 gram diet. At the moment we die, we supposedly weigh 21 grams less than we did when our heart was still pumping blood to our extremities and our bodies were still drawing breaths. The 21 grams is said to be the weight of our soul. This has helped me to arrive at a powerful realization. No matter how much weight I lose, I still feel heavy. But when my soul is nourished, I feel lighter, no matter what the number on the scale is. So she goes into 21 days, 21 days of how to feed your soul. Day three is really resonating with me. Day three is forgiveness. I remember hearing Maya Angelou, which let me just stop there. If you have never read a Maya Angelou book, then I feel like you have never read a book. If you've read a Maya Angelou book, you know what I'm talking about. If you have not, I strongly suggest you pick up one which will lead into another, into another. Maya Angelou is one of the most brilliant human beings to ever walk the face of the earth. Find out who she is and what she's about. 
I remember hearing Maya Angelou refer to forgiveness as a gift. Forgive everybody, she said. I know what she meant when she called it one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself. To me, forgiveness is the way we shine light on the darkness. On day three, give yourself this gift. Forgive yourself. Allow yourself the grace of space. When you forgive, you free yourself from the anger, hurt, blame, foolishness, criticism, and stupidity that you carry around inside. By letting go, you actually feel lighter. I work at this and I have experienced the lightness that comes from forgiving people and especially from forgiving myself, so I keep working at it. Little by little, I chip away at the big wall of blame and hurt that has encircled me. It opens me up, it lets in the light, it gets rid of the darkness. This book, really, go get it. It was a gift to me. It was one of the best gifts anyone could have ever given me. I love it. Even if you are not a fan of Valerie, listen to what she says. She knows what she's talking about. This is a delicious read. Delicious. Oh, and by the way, with the spoken word delicious she does go about the business of giving you recipes throughout this whole entire book so listen to me friends this book is going to help you on your journey of life it is literally going to take a lost soul and place you on the map exactly where you belong, regardless of what anyone else thinks. It's not about them. It's about you, girlfriend. Go get this book. Fabulous. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for future video content where I will be discussing Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale. Until then, stay healthy and well, and know that I love you.